What's up everybody? This is the number two challenge, Nick. Last time we tied. Yeah, we tied up. This is all out. Are you ready? I'm steak versus steak. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, I'm so sorry. I'm going to kick your butt. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start preparing a, a nice, beautiful Wagyu New York strip Marbonne score seven. Probably one of my favorite steaks to eat. How about you, Nick? What's your favorite steak to eat? Honestly, the, the, one of the best bites of meat I've ever had, and I mean this, and I'm not saying it for the video, is the brisket that I made with you the first time. One of the best bites of meat I've ever had. You can't I mean, beat that. It's hard to I beat mean, that one. But I am going to be going pretty creative today. You know what a lava cake is? Yes. I'm going to make a lava cake with Chateaubriand, but using a lobster cream sauce on the inside. Fancy. For me, mine- Enough talking. Enough talking. Now let's do it. That's right. Is that good? <laughs> That's good. All right, mine, I'm gonna be keeping it simple, everybody. When you have a nice, beautiful piece of meat, he's using a Wagyu Chateaubriand, all right? That's a fancy meat on its own, and he's gonna put lobster into it. I'm gonna keep it simple. Normally, I use garlic powder on my steak, as you know, Nick. Not today. This steak is too good for that. Now what I am going to do, leave this alone for a little bit so that the salt can penetrate deeply into the meat. I'm gonna put my potatoes in. First, we gotta give it a quick peel. Potatoes? So what are you doing with those potatoes? Uh, I'm just gonna make like a nice, nice creamy palm puree. Google, help me out. Get my lobster out of the fridge. Throw it in the water. Lobster, where is the lobster? Look at that, I'm helping. That means that he's gonna win just by the help. I'm gonna get him to do all the work for me. Where is the... This is a fancy fridge, everybody. What's going on? If you guys want to see the whole behind the scenes of Nick's tour of his studio, make sure you check out my third channel. It's going to be on the link in the description. Potatoes into my pot. I'm way ahead of Google right now. Not even close. What is that? What is that? Are you making a hole in the Chateaubriand? This is my lobster? Yes. You might want to censor this part. No, we don't censor. It's good. Do you really not? Nope. It's a part of eating food, right? We have to be humane, dispatch it first, and it's all good. Into the pot. Into the pot we go. I mean, look at the marbling on my Wagyu. Google, look at that. That's beautiful. It looks like you're making a cake. Wow, Nick. I am basically making a lava cake. So Nick, I'm gonna be making a gochujang compound butter to go with my steak. So I'm gonna first start chopping it really fine, my chives. A little bit of garlic. My chives go in, gochujang. And then we add the butter. Now we mix. And there we have it, gochujang compound butter. Now into the refrigerator. I'm gonna make myself a nice, simple roux for my sauce here. I'm using a little bit of butter, flour, and whisk. So my idea here is I'm gonna take my lobster meat, I'm, I'm gonna poach it lightly in this kind of roux here. I'm gonna let it soak up some of the cream, soak up some of the good flavors in here, and then this gets solidified a little bit, poured into the center of my Chateaubriand cake setup over here, and that's that. Crazy, that right? That sounds great. Crazy, right? You think it's gonna work good? I think it's gonna work great. Nick, which one is the oven? The one on the top or the bottom? I'm gonna let you figure it out. I don't get it. All right, my potatoes are ready. Nice. Do you have towels? <laughs> but I'm gonna take it like a man. I'm not gonna cry about it. Bows, where are your bows, Nick? Huh? What is that? A bow. B-O-W-L. Do we have bows here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna run it through the ricer. You see, it makes sure that everything is uniform, no lumps, no nada. All right, Google, I'm making my butter for my potatoes. I'm just gonna keep it really simple, just for the flavor. Shallot. Shallot. My gloves need to come back on because it's time, once again, for using meat glue. Sometimes you gotta meet that glue. You gotta glue that meat. <laughs> I like meat that glue. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta meet that glue. Regardless of what it is, you always have a good time, yes? If you're not having a good time in the kitchen, everybody, you're already doing it wrong. This is the big moment right here. I'm putting my lobster filling inside my steak. So I got some butter going right here on this pan. Now I'm gonna add my potato back in because I wanna make this really, really tasty. The hardest part is gonna be gluing the top. Yep. I mean, this is not Are gonna- You're gonna be... be able to get a sear? What's your plan I don't on the know. sear? I, Google, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. All right, on goes my lid. Look at you. My lid is on. Wow. This is crazy. It's just gotta sit and, 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 and solidify now. I mean, this goes in the fridge. I wanna put a little bit of mac and cheese powder on my mashed potato. Have you ever done that, Nick? No. Me neither. We're gonna see if it's gonna taste good. I don't know, I can Hold tell on, you there's right no now. seasoning yet, but tell me. There's no seasoning. <laughs> I don't know, Guga. That tastes amazing, Nick. You have no good taste buds. It's I'm okay. so sorry. It's mm. okay. Tastes like heaven. And my cheesy mashed potato is done. Time for me to rice. That's the best way to make mashed potatoes, that's for sure. Some brown butter. Here, put a little bit of mac and cheese powder in there. <laughs> I was nervous for a second. 
a little bit of salt, and then mix it around. Better than Google's, that's for sure. And I'm not even done. There's no way. What? That's terrible. What do you mean? You're just saying that. You can't, that doesn't I'm make, I'm it doesn't make it bad just because you're saying it's terrible. Wow, Nick. That tastes like dirt. And in we go. Now, it's really hot right now, and that's what I want, but as soon as I put it up, I'm gonna lower it a little bit. We want nice golden brown and not black. Look at the goldenness, brownness of this steak, baby. That looks pretty good, Google. Right, This isn't is a picturesque steak picture right here. Yeah. I love that. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of butter into the pan, together with some thyme. Once it starts foaming, that's where you wanna baste. You wanna see how I'm gonna try to sear the top of this? What are you gonna do? Just gonna put that. <laughs> is, it gonna, is it gonna work? No. No? <laughs> no, no, no shot. My steak is done, steak goes in, time goes in, and of course, we're not gonna let that butter go to waste, everybody, uh-uh. Kinda worked. It actually kinda worked. Kinda worked. <laughs> <laughs> now we stick it in the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit until it reaches 135. Place it on. And this is when the fun begins. Are you proud of it? I'll be proud of it if it works out. I'm going in, Google. Look at that butter. We got a nice butter. Oh, Guga. And I'm gonna put that beautiful compound butter we just made just for the finish. And my goal is, I think it's going to create a nice, incredible sauce, which we'll mix it together with the mashed potato also. Back into the oven it goes. My steak is done, ready to go. One of the most important things we gotta do whenever we cook a steak is what? Rest it. That's right. Five, five to seven minutes at least. Now I'm gonna plate it up. Okay, Guga, I'm gonna start plating too. All right, perfect timing. I pushed all these potatoes through the ricer, and then through a chinois. So these will be the smoothest potatoes anyone has ever eaten. But that's it? These are double smooth. Oh, you're making fancy chef amount. No, 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 it'll be big. I mean, this thing's gonna be... See the difference? Yeah, but that's like mac and cheese. That's... <laughs> they actually both look good. This is exactly what I was going for, everybody. You see how it's still nice and wet on the top? Exactly what I wanted. That slice. Oh. Medium rare, baby. That's what we like here. Can I take a little piece of this? Yes, sir. Tell me how it tastes. Just taste it together. We're not judging. Mm. Mm. But look at that, Google. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Right on the top, just like that. I'm gonna use this beautiful butter right here. Finish it up on the plate. I'm so excited. That's so cool. And this is my take on steak with Kojugan compound butter. And this is my take on surf and turf. All right, I'm gonna cut right in. Molten lava steak, everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, Guga. Oh, Guga, look, oh, look at the- Lord look have at mercy. The, look at the oozing out of the middle. Oh, boy. I mean, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess, it's Guga. It's a mess. Look at this. We have A, and then, of course, we have B, everybody. Put it on the comments down below right now and let us know who won. Hi guys, I guess me and Manny ended up being the judges for this one. Yep. Hey man, I'm not complaining. This food looks delicious, smells delicious. It's amazing. I cannot wait to dive in. Uh, where do you think we should start, Manny? I kinda wanna start with Guga's. I, I don't get to get Guga food a lot, so oh, I wanna okay. try the Guga food. I, I kinda wanna start with Guga's just cause Nick's looks a little messy. Like we're gonna get our hands dirty, so I think we should start with Guga's too. Cheers, brother. Let's go. Cheers, guys. Mmm, wow. that's good. Very tender. Extremely. I really like the mashed potatoes. I will say you don't really get a lot of that um, mac and cheese. It's a l very subtle cheese. I like the gojigan uh, compound butter. You definitely feel mm. those like added flavors of it. It's got a little bit of heat to it, but that nice gojigan flavor overall coating the steak. That's still my favorite really part. Good. Yeah. I like you taste that right after you taste mm -hmm. the steak and it works so well. All right, right so now for next. Let's go on next. All right, hold on. Definitely gotta get, you gotta get like, a piece of the lobster. All right, I got my piece. Cheers, guys. Here we go. Wow. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. Don't curse me, I'm not Manny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nick did an amazing job with the lobster and the mashed potatoes, and that is some very creamy potato. The Chateaubriand, there's not really that much of a sear on it. The flavor of the steak is good, the consistency of the steak is good, but it's just missing a crust. I honestly like both. I'm not gonna lie, I like the presentation here a little bit more, but I think the creativity here is amazing, but they both taste amazing in their own ways. It's really hard to compare because the flavors are so different. This is gonna sound biased, but my winner is Guga. You out, Nick! You out, Nick! It's a mess. It is a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> I, I will say that I like the look of your dish. 
presentation way wise, more with the blue plate that you picked too it pops the whole nice. plate looks right. really nice well enough let's try cheers everybody oh I just, it just works and you don't know how to pronounce gochujang but gochujang that's totally fine I'm Korean. Yeah, but you're not pronouncing it correctly. Goju John. Anyway, I think this was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for inviting me, Nick. Google, I humbly give you the win on this one. Really? I do, I do, I do. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. I think it, it just goes well together. You know when they say the idea was there? Yeah. The idea was there. If you don't know my friend Nick, how long we know each other? A thousand years already? I think so. I feel like it feels like that. Make sure yeah. you go check out Nick's channel. It's going to be on the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in any of the equipment I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.